The American defense company Raytheon has started developing a wireless energy transmission network to power drones and ground objects. This news was published on the official website of the company. The U.S. Department of Defense's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has engaged Raytheon to design and develop a wireless relay system for energy delivery in conflict environments. The project is being developed as part of the Energy Web Dominance Program, thanks to which DARPA aims to be able to provide energy to the system at any point without a direct physical connection. Under the two-year, $10 million contract, Raytheon will create the Power Optical Wireless Power Relay System. The Power Energy Transmission System will be based on a network of high-flying unmanned aerial vehicles equipped with a laser energy reception and transmission system. The energy will be directed to a high altitude, and from there it will be transmitted through repeaters to its destination. It can be a ground object or an autonomous aircraft that will be able to stay in the air for an unlimited time thanks to power. Using a large number of repeaters, the power system is supposed to create a power grid that military logisticians can use to direct power to where it is most needed at any given moment. It's the Internet of Energy, which uses resilient multipath networks to deliver energy from surplus sources to energy-scarce consumers. The military faces particularly pressing energy challenges that prompted this innovation. We often have to operate far from established energy infrastructure and rely on liquid fuel that requires unreliable supply lines, said Colonel Paul Calhoun, Power Program Manager in DARPA's Tactical Technology Division. According to the developers, a disadvantage of the prospective development may be a large loss of energy associated with the method of relaying. It is expected that about 20% will be spent on converting the electricity into the beam and another 50% on converting the beam back into electrical energy. At the same time, these losses will be repeated at each iteration of the conversion from repeater to repeater. However, it is noted that the efficiency of energy transfer remains on the second plan among the goals of development, taking into account the purpose of the future system. The power system, in addition to powering unmanned platforms and systems detached from the energy infrastructure, also seeks to minimize the risks to military logisticians associated with the transportation of conventional explosive fossil fuels in a combat zone.